up, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty, and Miss Hello Kitty. She's back again. Y'all know that she just had, you know, so, well, I ain't gonna say some children, but she <laughs> had, <laughs> she just had a little boy. How many months ago? About five months ago? Nah, he just three months. He just oh, three months. three months ago. So, yeah, he just turned three months. So, mm -hmm. she back. And since y'all wanted me to talk about Married to Medicine, she been watching it a lot more than I have, so cool. I can't say that this is gonna be like a full like review of Mary to Medicine. It's gonna be like an overview of what's been going on. We're gonna catch y'all up to speed and then yeah. we're gonna probably we'll do reviews from this from this on. point on. Yeah. So since you watch it way more than I do, okay. Let's let's, let's start with episode me. one. Episode mm -hmm. one gives you the uh, overview into the cast. There's six ladies. Two of them are doctors, the other four are wives. Let's start with the doctors, shall we? Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie is a two-time breast cancer survivor, and she's a, a oh, she's a real famous OBGYN in the Atlanta area, and she she does great work. My only thing with Dr. Jackie is she too sophisticated like she's too above the drama you know what i'm saying like she sometimes i forget dr jackie is think, black yeah like she do be doing too much which brings me to dr simone and the other doctor she's a size she used to be a size 14 but now she's a size six and dr jackie because she's um had breast cancer twice she's a real health fitness nut and she be calling this woman a size six fat. And I'm like, shit, I'm a size 12, 14. If she fat, I must be All obese. The way. <laughs> I'm obese. I'm Cause I'm like, damn, you calling this bitch fat. And, she, and they're like, they said, so we're friends, but you know, Dr. Jack and she should always call me fat. Ain't no way I'm gonna sit up here and have Scott to call me fat all the time. He got me my friend. But and, when y'all were pregnant, I was calling y'all fat all the time. That's because we were pregnant. <laughs> and he was being, he was being nasty. <laughs> but I, it just rubs me the wrong way. And then the, those are two doctors. Then we go into the wives. First of all, the wives. <laughs> the only white person in the group, Carrie, she's married to this white doctor. I, th I think he's a surgeon. And child, it's. She, she tries so hard to throw shade. And like, with that fake ass French accent. Yes, he used to stay in France or whatever. But bitch. But bitch. Right. Have seen. And like, it's so pathetic. Because I'm going to get into that. How she just be all over her husband. But her husband don't be all over her. But she was yet checking for quad to my son. She was having trouble in paradise. And her husband caught off the marriage. But hey, you don't know. But you had a for split via your damn self. Oh, I guess the medical mistress. <laughs> Which leads me into her inferior sidekick, Toya. Looking like sandy cheeks. She gives me squirrel. She really likes sandy cheeks. She's so whack. And she kisses Carrie ass. She out she she tries to throw shade to some I'm from I, I mean I haven't forgotten where I come from. Yeah, I'm from Detroit, but I'm above it. Bitch. Bitch. You act like a fucking hood rat, so how the fuck can you be above it? But she so she be all within Carrie's time, so mm, So she wants to be above it. There's yeah. a difference between being above it and wanting to be above it. Which brings me to Mariah. Mariah <sighs> is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And like I'm still between on oh, riding the fence of how I really want to feel about Mariah. I ain't here for her. Go ahead. <laughs> because okay, she's married to the uh Indian man that's from Bangladesh and you know she she you know what she remind me of? Oh. The reason why I'm on the fences with her, because she reminds me of Tamar Braxton. Like she oh. over the top, like are you a straight woman or a gay man? Like <laughs> cause she all that tea and all that shade and yes, Miss The honey. children, the kids. Yeah, like. Uh, all this gay lingo. She trying too much. She doing too much. And it's annoying. Very annoying. Because, I mean, it's okay to use words lightly and tastefully 
to mm. say the least. Mm. I mean, you using it very inappropriately. Every time you call, what's the tea, honey? Yes, ma'am, it's gone. No, who talks like that? I don't even think gay men talk like that. Just all them type of verbiage right together. Like, no. You know I don't. <laughs> Moving on to my last wife, Miss Quad. Now, Miss Quad. That's from the only South one Memphis. I like. That's the only one that I really like. She's from South Memphis and she's the new girl. She's just been married. And they and Mariah is trying to bring her to the Dr. Wise Circle. Now, in the first episode, they was at Mariah's house and, they, and she was introducing, introducing Quad to the ladies. And they was looking at Quad like she was crazy. And, you know, they were just mistreating her, acting like she's beneath them and stuff like that. And she was trying to, you know, Carrie was trying to throw shade and Quad was ready to snatch, basically. Mm -hmm. And that's when they was trying to call her ghetto and stuff like that. Excuse me. Which is which is true. Yes, yeah, she ghetto, but I mean, it, at least she's not pretending to be something she's that she's not. Character. Like you know, at least she's not being. You know, we gotta speed it up. At least she's not being like Toya, who trying so hard to kiss somebody ass to be perfect, or trying mm -hmm. to pretend like she's some high class bitch when she is not. Mm -hmm. And then for them to have so, a lot of money, why is it that Quad is the only one that have a nice weave in her head? Cause Mariah stay with that drawstring bullshit in her head. And Toya, no words. Right. Simone, no. But Simone has money. She's the doctor. Her teeth look like she been chewing cement. Oh my god. Cement cheekless. That's what oh it looks like. I'm not here. If you a doctor, like, no. If you ever come into some money, the first thing you should do is fix your damn teeth. That's I'm sorry. Don't if I get me some money. I'm fixing it. I know. I'm talking about just. It's going to be as soon as I smile gleaming white, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Teeth, teeth that's misaligned will be straightened. <laughs> but go back into the, uh, but, the first okay. second episode. So, that kind of falls into the second episode. The second episode, Mariah addresses Carrie for the, you know, the shade and how the birthday party coming up. Mariah's husband and Carrie's husband, their birthdays are so close together, they're going to throw a joint birthday party. Mm -hmm. And she's Cause Carrie gon' text being a scary bitch that she is. Gon' text Quad. She text Quad. And uninvite her to the party. Uninvite her and, call, and called her what? She called her something. Told her to stop, start acting like a doctor's wife instead of a low class whore or something. Right. Like that. Bitch. Really? I bet you would have said that to her face. I know she would. And then that leads me to that party. What party? It was an event um, at the beginning of the first episode on Quad when I had texted you that line that Quad said, Oh, and where are you when somebody said to Rex to clean? That was episode two. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just enjoyed that. Because she kept trying to throw shade, and her shade wasn't making sense. Mm -hmm. But Quad kept coming, and she was like, Check Because <laughs> she was, and she was like, I suffered. Anorexia, and the only way she had would have known that it's from Mariah telling her, Bitch, Mariah didn't probably tell her. I mean, the evidence shows you look like you hungry, you look like you need to eat a chicken sandwich. And her face look like it's melting. And her lips look distorted, like, Bitch, your husband is a surgeon, and you had a Botox job gone wrong or something. Fix your damn lips. Because that's lips what it looked like. And they all fold it. My mom, my mom said she didn't gave a uh, head so much. Her lips and lost form. Ugh. And I can believe it. I believe it too. Because she probably trying to keep that husband. Because it's so sad. Like you sitting here trying to throw shade at Quad and her husband. But you throw it on some expensive lingerie. And your husband come into some. Let's get on the computer and look at some spreadsheets. But my whole thing is. Why is you getting all so, you know, bent up and out of shape about everything. About all the digs that Quad is taking at you. When you ain't doing nothing but throwing digs at her. Every like you getting she all did. upset because she called your medical mistress. That's what the fuck you were, bitch. Right. Deal with it. You was messing I mean, with that man. He said, man. They were separated. Bitch, call it what you wanted. He was in divorce. Right. You was opening your legs to marry men. That's what you were doing, bitch. Deal with it and get over it. And then another thing that I can't stand, um, Toya and everybody else wanted to get mad at Quad because, you know, she took a stab at her being at the anorexia clinic. Yeah, it was a low blow, but I don't give a fuck because all Carrie has done since she met Quad is take low blows and, you know, pop shit and throw shade. It's about time she got a taste of her own medicine. Right. I can't see how she could be friends or how any of them could be friends. 
Was it the third episode when her and Mariah had got went back and forth at that winery thing? No, that was the end of episode two. Cause they were that that was the end of episode two because that's what she was trying to say, you need to this is my party too, bitch. And I'm inviting Quad Quad back. And that's when she gonna have a nerd call Mariah low class and da 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 da. And I'm like, bitch, y'all been friends, but ain't no way if me and my me and Sky have a spat, I'm gonna go for the juggler right there. Just right. Like, no, that ain't no real damn friend at all. And the fact that they made up on the spot, that ain't cute. That makes it. That make that whole little friendship look fake to me. Right. Like I just, I'm just sitting at the TV. Like, are these bitches really friends? Or are they doing this for the cameras? Cause I ain't no way in hell that I could have forgiven somebody that quick like that. Cause you know that I would have been pissed off. I would have been clapping my hands. <laughs> I would have been waiting till feet. probably the next week to say we need to talk about this shit or something. Cause ain't no way in hell I could have forgiven that that right. quick. Go on episode three, girl. Episode three. First of all, Bravo really irritated me when this they had been talking about this fight, this fight all week with the commercials, and they waited till eight fifty, eight fifty and eight fifty five, cause they had the commercial break between eight fifty three and eight fifty five. Oh yes, bitch, I kept counting. <laughs> they did. They waited to the very last minute to show this fight, and this fight wasn't even all that. Now it was I so way. Everybody get mad at Mariah for throwing the first lick, but you don't understand. You don't come for nobody's child. And then Mariah told you that she in company. They she took like her own. I'm pretty sure her daughter know now since it's been shown on worldwide television. Mm -hmm. But she she didn't she didn't want her daughter to know that earlier that you know that that's not her father. Her father like you know that's the only father she knew. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting up here talking about. And then at the hair salon. Everybody's gossip at the hair salon. You and don't then, know who this shit can go back to. And the fact that her mama, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's one of the reasons why they was trying to throw shade at Mariah for being late. Mariah, after she found that out, she didn't even want to go to the damn party. Mm -hmm. And I really don't blame her. And then you sit up here talk about the girl child. Then you want to come up to her and talk about her mama? Hell no, I want to be ready to pop out. Right. That's what I believe, too. Like, I just felt like Mariah... She had every right to be upset. I feel like, you know, due to the simple fact that the woman was talking about a child, like she had no business talking about that. Like that's something that, that was brought to you in confidence. You know what I'm saying? You don't talk about, you don't step out your lane and talk about somebody kid like that. Cause, some, cause you know, that's something to get your ass beat. You know what I'm saying? You don't talk about nobody kid like that. 